So this is Ray Kurzweil, the age of spiritual machines, when computers exceed human intelligence. And this is chapter 10, predictions for 2019. Firstly, the computer itself. Computers are now largely invisible. They are embedded everywhere, in walls, tables, chairs, desks, clothing, jewelry and bodies. People routinely use three-dimensional displays built into their glasses or contact lenses. These direct eye displays create highly realistic virtual visual environments overlaying the real environment. This display technology projects images directly onto the human retina, exceeds the resolution of human vision and is widely used regardless of visual impairment. The direct eye displays operate in three modes. First, head directed displays. These displayed images are stationary with respect to the position and orientation of your head. When you move your head, the display moves relative to the real environment. This mode is often used to interact with virtual documents. Second, virtual reality overlay display. The displayed image slides when you move or turn your head so that the virtual people, objects and environment appear to remain stationary in relation to the real environment, which you can still see. Thus, if the direct eye display is displaying the image of a person who could be a geographically remote real person engaging in a three-dimensional visual phone call with you, or a computer-generated simulated person, that projected person will appear to be in a particular place relative to the real environment that you also see. When you move your head, that projected person will appear to remain in the same place relative to the real environment. Third, virtual reality blocking display. This is the same as the virtual reality overlay display, except that the real environment is blocked out, so you see only the projected virtual environment. You will switch this mode to leave real reality and enter a virtual reality environment. In addition to the optical lenses, there are auditory lenses, which place high-resolution sound in precise locations in a three-dimensional environment. These can be built into eyeglasses, worn as body jewelry, or implanted in the ear canal. Keyboards are rare, although they still exist. Most interactions with computing is through gestures using hands, fingers and facial expressions and through two-way natural language spoken communication. People communicate with computers the same way they would communicate with a human assistant, both verbally and through visual expression. Significant attention is paid to the personality of computer-based personal assistants, with many choices available. Users can model the personality of their intelligent assistants on actual persons, including themselves, or select a combination of traits from a variety of both public personalities and private traits and associates. Typically, people do not just own one pers specific personal computer, although computing is nevertheless very personal. Computing and extremely high bandwidth communication are embedded everywhere. Cables have largely disappeared. The, computa the computational capacity of a $4,000 computing device in $1999 is approximately equal to the computational capability of the human brain, which is 20 million billion calculations per second. Of the total computing capacity of the human species, that is all human brains combined, with the computing technology the species has created more than 10% is non-human. Rotating memories and other electromechanical computing devices have been fully replaced with electronic devices. Three-dimensional nanotube lattices are now a prevalent form of computing circuitry. The majority of computes of computers are now devoted to massively parallel neural nets and genetic algorithms. Significant progress has been made in the scanning-based reverse engineering of the human brain. It is now fully recognized that the brain comprises many specialized regions, each with its own topology and architecture of interneuronal connections. The massively parallel Algorithms are beginning to be understood, and these results have been applied to the design of machine-based neural nets. It is recognized that the human genetic code does not specify the precise interneuronal wiring of any of the regions, but rather sets up a rapid evolutionary process in which connections are established and fight for survival. The standard process for wiring machine-based neural nets uses a similar genetic evolutionary algorithm. A new computer-controlled optical imaging technology using quantum-based diffraction devices has replaced most lenses with tiny devices that can detect light waves from any angle. These pinhead-sized cameras are everywhere. Autonomous nano-engineered machines 
can control their own mobility and include significant computational engines. These microscopic machines are beginning to be applied to commercial applications, particularly in manufacturing and process control, but are not yet in the mainstream. Education. Handheld displays are extremely thin, very high resolution and weigh only ounces. People with documents either on the handheld displays or more commonly from text that is projected into the ever-present virtual environment using the ubiquitous direct eye displays. Paper books and documents are rarely used or accessed. Most 20th century paper documents of interest have been scanned and are available through the wireless network. Most learning is accomplished using intelligent software-based simulated teachers. To the extent that teaching is done by human teachers, the human teachers are often not in the local vicinity of the student. The teachers are viewed more as mentors and counselors than as sources of learning and knowledge. Students continue to gather together to exchange ideas and to socialize, although even this gathering is often physically and geographically remote. All students use computation. Computation in general is everywhere, so a student not having a computer is rarely an issue. Most adult human workers spend the majority of their time acquiring new skills and knowledge. Disabilities. Blind persons routinely use eyeglass mounted reading navigation system, which incorporate the new digitally controlled high resolution optical sensors. These systems can read text in the real world, although since most print is now electronic, print to speech reading is less of a requirement. The navigation function of the system, which emerged about 10 years ago, is now perfected. These automated reading navigation assistants communicate to blind users through both speech and tactile indicators. These systems are also widely used by sight persons since they provide a high resolution interpretation of the visual world. Retinal and vision neural implants have emerged but have limitations and are used by only a small percentage of blind persons. Deaf persons routinely read what other people are saying through the deaf person's lens displays. There are systems that provide visual and tactile interpretations of other auditory experiences such as music, but there is a debate regarding the extent to which these systems provide an experience comparable to that of a hearing person. Cochlear and other implants for improving hearing are very effective and are widely used. Paraplegic and some quadriplegic persons routinely walk and climb stairs through a combination of computer-controlled nerve sim stimulation and exoskeletal robotics devices. Generally, disabilities such as blindness, deafness and paraplegia are not noticeable and are not regarded as significant. Communication You can do virtually anything with anyone regardless of physical proximity. The technology to accomplish this is easy to use and ever-present. Phone calls routinely include high-resolution, three-dimensional images projected through the direct eye displays and auditory lenses. Three-dimensional holography displays have also emerged. In either case, users feel as if they are physically near the other person. The resolution equals or exceeds optimal human visual acuity. But a person can be fooled as to whether or not another person is physically present or is being projected through electronic communication. The majority of meetings do not require physical proximity. Routinely, available communication technology includes high-quality speech-to-speech -speech language translation for most common language pairs. Reading books, magazines, newspapers and other web documents, listening to music, watching three-dimensional moving images, for example television movies, engaging in three-dimensional visual phone calls, entering virtual environments by yourself or with others who may be geographically remote, and various combinations of these activities are all done through the ever-present communications web and do not require any equipment, devices or objects that are not worn or implanted. The all enveloping tactile environment is now widely available and fully convincing. Its resolution equals or exceeds that of human touch and can simulate and stimulate all of the facets of the tactile senses, including the sensing of pressure, temperature, textures and moistness. Although the visual and auditory aspects of virtual reality involve only devices you have on or in your body, the direct eye lenses and auditory lenses, the total touch haptic environment requires entering a virtual reality booth. These technologies are popular for medical examinations as well as sensual and sexual interactions with other human partners or simulated partners. In fact, it is often the preferred mode of interaction, even when a human partner is nearby, due to its ability to enhance both experience and safety. Business and Economics Rapid economic expansion and prosperity has continued. 
The vast majority of transactions include a simulated person featuring a realistic animated personality and two-way voice communication with high-quality natural language understanding. Often there is no human involved, as a human may have his or her automated personal assistant conduct transaction on his or her behalf with other automated personalities. In this case, the assistants skip the natural language and communicate directly by exchanging appropriate knowledge structures. Household robots for performing, cleaning and other chores are now ubiquitous and reliable. Automated driving systems have been found to be highly reliable and have now been installed in nearly all roads. While humans are still allowed to drive on local roads, although not on highways, the automated driving systems are always engaged and are ready to take control when necessary to prevent accidents. Efficient personal flying vehicles using microflips have been demonstrated and are primarily computer controlled. There are very few transportation accidents. Politics and society People are beginning to have relationships with automated personalities as companions, teachers, caretakers and lovers. Automated personalities are superior to humans in some ways, such as having very reliable memories and, if desired, predictable and programmable personalities. They are not yet regarded as equal to humans in the subtlety of their personalities, although there is disagreement on this point. An undercurrent of concern is developing with regard to the influence of machine intelligence. There continue to be difference between human and machine intelligence, but the advantages of human intelligence are becoming more difficult to identify and articulate. Computer intelligence is thoroughly interwoven into the mechanisms of civilization and is designed to be outwardly subservient to apparent human control. On the one hand, human transactions and decisions require by law a human agent of responsibility, even if fully initiated by machine intelligence. On the other hand, few decisions are made without significant involvement and consultation with machine-based intelligence. Public and private spaces are routinely monitored by machine intelligence to prevent interpersonal violence. People attempt to protect their privacy with near unbreakable encryption technologies, but privacy continues to be a major political and social issue with each individual's practically every move stored in a database somewhere. The existence of human underclass continues as an issue. While there is sufficient prosperity to provide basic necessities, secure housing and food among others, without significant strain to the economy, all controversies persist regarding issues of responsibility and opportunity. The issue is complicated by the growing component of most employments being concerned with the employee's own learning and skill acquisition. In other words, the difference between those productively engaged and those who are not is not always clear. The arts. Virtual artists in all of the arts are emerging and are taken seriously. These cybernetic visual artists, musicians and authors are usually affiliated with humans or organizations which in turn are comprised of collaborations of humans and machines, and have contributed to their knowledge base and techniques. However, interest in the output of these creative machines has gone beyond the mere novelty of machines being creative. Visual, musical and literally art created by human artists typically involve a collaboration between human and machine intelligence. The type of artistic and entertainment product in greatest demand, as measured by revenue generated, continues to be virtual experience software, which ranges from simulations of real experience to abstract environments with little or no corollary in the physical world. Warfare The primary threat to security comes from small groups combining human and machine intelligence using unbreakable encrypted communication. These include 1. Disruptions of public information channels using software viruses and 2. Bioengineered disease agents. Most flying weapons are tiny, some as small as insects with microscopic flying weapons being researched. Health and medicine. Many of the life processes encoded in the human genome, which was deciphered more than 10 years earlier, are now largely understood, along with the information processing mechanisms underlying aging and degenerative conditions such as cancer and heart disease. The expected lifespan, which is as a 780 through 1900 and the first phase, result of a first industrial revolution of the second, the 20th century, almost doubled from less than 40, has now substantially increased again to over 100. There is increasing recognition of the danger of a widespread availability of bioengineering technology. The means exist for, every, for anyone with the level of knowledge and equipment available to a typical graduate student to create disease agents with enormous destructive potential. 
that this potential is offset to some extent by comparable gains in bioengineered antiviral treatments constitutes an uneasy balance and is a major focus of international security agencies. Computerized health monitors built into watches, jewelry and clothing which diagnose both acute and chronic health conditions are widely used. In addition to diagnosis, these monitors provide a range of remedial recommendations and interventions. Philosophy. There are prevalent reports of computers passing the Turing test. Although these instances do not meet the criteria with regard to the sophistication of a human judge, the length of time of the, of the interviews, etc., established by knowledgeable observers. There is a consensus that computers have not yet passed a valid Turing test, but there is growing controversy on this point. The subjective experience of computer-based intelligence is seriously discussed, although the rights of machine intelligence have not yet entered mainstream debate. Machine intelligence is still largely a product of a collaboration between humans and machines, and has been programmed to maintain a subservient relationship to the species that created it.